Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second and Lair. Let's ask Lord Arama if we can take a boat to Florum. Uh, before doing that, though, I would like to make some minor changes to my setup that I made last time. Well, only one real change. I want to give the Serrated Shield to you, because that'll help boost the damage of his special moves. And let's see, so that's, uh, yeah, quite a big boost of strength there for him. And Campmancers have a pretty decent strength modifier. Not to mention uh, shield proficiency as well. That's pretty nice. And let's see, I would like to buy some stuff before progressing with the plot here. So let's see what we got. Okay, yeah, let's restock on some... Phoenix Downs will be running into some undead enemies in the near future. As for battle items, yeah, let's get a whole bunch more of those magnifying glasses for others to use. And then the only elemental weaknesses that I'm really concerned about right now are water and lightning. So let's see, why don't we buy a couple Pantheon's Wrath, the stronger uh, lightning elemental item. And then I want to buy a whole bunch more Zeus's Wraths as well. These are arbitrary numbers, so don't worry about that too much. That's just what I like. I'm not going to buy Arctic Winds, though, because we're going to find some in the near future. Let's see. I would also like to buy another Katana from the weapon shop here. I could actually use a couple more than this, actually. But we're going to be having another shop in the near future that will sell even better ones than that. So I'll just take the one and make do with what I've got otherwise. But uh, okay, so we got all that. Yeah, why don't we save up there? Let's see, with the special moves coming up here... Make sure that U's offensive special move is Lightning Elemental, but everyone else can use Fire there. That'll be good enough. And I'm also, yeah, got Fire Weak on my Enfeebling special moves there as well. But all right, yeah, let's go uh, pay a visit to Lord Arama. Last time he came here, he wasn't home. But now he is. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. Oh, did you? Are you being serious or not? I I think he's kind of joking there. Oh, oh, okay. What is it, like a fire emblem? No. No, that's another game, viewers. Oh, okay. Just, uh, yeah, giving you a hard time, I guess. Uh, Frosty was, uh, I think, one of the floaty beast-type enemies that we encountered in the very beginning of the game, practically, I think. But all right, yeah, let's go talk to the guy, get a belt. Welcome, travelers. Hey, how's it going? I am Kusatsu Arima IV, Lord of the Baths. Not a very intimidating title. Your arrival in our nation has made quite the splash. I hear it, you fight the Empire. Doesn't everyone? If you need anything at all, just say the word. I will happily pool my resources for you. Are we going to have an endless supply of water puns from this guy? Spoiler alert, we are! Thank you, your lordship. As a matter of fact... We need a bigger boat. A ship, you say? Why, <laughs> that's as simple as soap and water. Hey, hey all right. My favorite lacquered gondola is at the docks, adorned ornately with the Arima family crest. Please, think of it as your own. Oh, all right. Well, that was easy. Another rowboat. Oh. Uh, actually, we were looking for something a bit more ocean-worthy and bigger. Something that could handle deep water? Hmm, that's one idea down the drain. And yet, I fear it is my only vessel. How is that your only boat? You're the richest guy in town. And you're right on the waterfront property. If only there were some way to... But no, that's impossible. If only. What's impossible? Nothing's impossible for us. We're the protagonists. Alas, an intractable clog. 
If you wish to venture into the open seas, I suggest you wait for a merchant vessel to call it port. Well, he was last time we saw him, he was trying to build a new port. That's gonna take a while. But how long is that gonna take? What are we gonna do? Now, now, my friends, no need to get so lathered up. Oh. Come, let us nibble on something sweet, and we shall ponder this bubblesome issue together. Mmm, bubbles, the most deadly weapon in 8-bit video games. Did you say something sweet? Uh-oh. What have you done? You've doomed us all! I did. It just so happens a traveling confectioner was recently drawn to our baths. Hey! <laughs> He presented me with an offering of desserts, but I fear they will be too sweet for my sophisticated palate. Oh, okay. Perhaps you will find them more to your liking. Yeah, more for us. Why not? Oh, what is that? Like some kind of a, a basket, I'm guessing? Hey! I bet these are from that traveling pastry chef we met back in Heart's Child. Hey, all right. What luck. Maybe he has a boat for us, too. Well, you had to get here somehow. It's worth asking. Hmm. They're all different. Let's each pick one, and then we can go look for them. Well, someone had to, well, not really cook them, uh, bake them, I guess. I don't care much for sweets either, so I'll just have whatever's left over. Mm, just like me. Then it's just the three of us. What do you mean? First come, first served. Oh, they all look so yummy. Uh, I think I'll have a petit minute. Hmm? What do you think you're doing? That's the one I wanted. Uh-oh. Angry faces. Settle down, you two. There's no use fighting over cake. Right, let's unclench those fists now. No, no, you, you don't need to crack your knuckles. <laughs> I know, why don't we let you decide who gets first dibs? Uh-oh. Good idea. I'm sure you would choose wisely. Won't you, you? <laughs> Murder girl. Why do I feel like I'm being sandbagged? Is Magnolia trying to show you her cleavage? You? I'm trusting you won't be swayed by any saucy wiles. Got it? Uh, he's not exactly the best person for that. Uh, uh, right. Whatever you say. In You're doomed. Case... You're doomed either way, you. But, uh, okay, so for your choice here, there actually is a reason for this. And what you want to choose, or, well, who you want to choose is someone who is a magic user. So that's only Magnolia here, so we'll go with her. I'm the first. I go first. And I pick... Oh, well, Dia doesn't seem to be too bothered now. This one. The honey and nectar drizzled blooming Bavarois with party-colored flower petals and a dusting of pollen. What? Oh. It's almost too beautiful to eat. But eat it I must. Here goes. Is it good? Oh, la la. It's a magnifique. I could just die. Figuratively. Right? <laughs> is it really that good? <laughs> Heavens, is it ever. It's like a chorus line of butterflies dancing on my tongue, wearing little shoes of infinite delight. Yeah, that's a little bit too much stimulation for my taste. She's speaking in tongues! Whoa! It's so good she's lapsing into moonlish! <laughs> well, guess it's my turn! Alright! Uh, wait, what happened to Magnolia? What do you mean? She's eating. Magnolia? Are you alright? Magnolia! Dude? Something's definitely wrong. It's like she can't even hear us. Huh. I feel like I've seen this look before. Of course. The people in Heart's Child. 
They got better at night. There must be something in the cake. How did you come to that conclusion? Bathzooks, could it have been poisoned? Oh. Uh. I don't know, but we shouldn't eat anymore. Let's throw it out. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> That's no way to treat my delectable delicacies. What the? I remember you. You're the pastry chef from Heartsfest. What are you doing here? What did you put in the cake? Don't answer that, viewers. No artificial ingredients, if that's what you're implying. Just pure, unadulterated genius. Well, it's not exactly a physical thing. My creations don't just taste magical, you see. They have certain effects on the eater. What do you mean? These cakes include an extra dash of inspiration I added just for you. What kind of inspiration? Taste and behold the result, my dear diners. Well, there doesn't seem to be any kind of result. A one-way ticket to heaven. Whoa! Literally? Qu'est-ce qui m'arrive? What's happening to me? I don't know. What is? Magnolia! I'm... I'm disappearing! Whoa! No stairway? Denied! What? What did you do to her? Didn't we just go over this? My cakes are so divine, anyone who tastes one is whisked straight off to heaven. Well, I don't want to go to heaven! Of course, in heaven you have no body, and you can't move or talk. Ah, that would be a drawback. I like to call it Death by Delicious. <laughs> hmm. Wait a minute. It was you, wasn't it? All those poor people in Hearts Child. Why go after them? Killing your customers doesn't exactly sound like the best business plan. That's right. And they savored every moment. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... You're working for... Uh-oh. Angelo Ovio Panettone, patissier non parel. Charmed, I'm sure. Personal confectioner to the Kaiser, and proud owner of the patissier asterisk. How powerful could it possibly be? My boss was sick of you meddling in his affairs, so... Here I am. Ladies! Uh-oh. Yes, chef! Right on cue. Now let's hear it, my sweet Tsar. To die for! Literally. My face is... To die for! I would have to beg to differ on that one. And these losers can... To die for? Go to heaven! Oh, or that. It's time for dessert. Lick their plates clean. For boss time! I am Angelo Panettone, holder of the Patissier Asterisk. By whisk and by spatula, I create a profusion of pastries, a symphony of sweets. The women of the world swoon at the taste of my delicacies and the sight of my face. Mm. So yeah, for the duration of this battle, Magnolia is in afflicted with the ghost status, which means she can't be targeted, but... She can only use magic there, so no special moves or items or anything like that. So let's see, with you, the first thing I want to do is take out the Katana Vanguard there. So I'm going to use Piercing Bolt so I don't damage any of the others there. Most notably the Medic, you'll see why in a moment. And with the Serrated Shield, because the special move is considered physical damage, that'll boost his damage with that quite a bit. If you don't have a Lilith's Rod, I would recommend equipping a Battle Mace instead, but this will get the job done there. So yeah, take out the Katana Vanguard first, that'll one-shot her, and then for the other one, I want to confuse, well, the Medic Van there, because she can use a Kit Mastery skill, which is otherwise impossible to acquire, 
for a long time. So I would like to get that here. That's why I've got a uh, learning equipped on Adia there. And I want her to buff herself up with Bleeding Wolf for now. But yeah, because you hasn't unlocked Cat Mastery yet, he can't actually learn that even though he has learning equipped. So I had to give learning to Adia, who does have Cat Mastery available. Okay, and then with Tiz, yeah, why don't we examine the Katana Vanguard before we kill her? But yeah, I might be able to kill her without the serrated shield. Let's give him all we've got. But this more or less, yeah, guarantees that I'll have enough damage for that. So yeah, now let's confuse the Medic Vanguard and see what they do. So yeah, the Patissia is basically a debuffing and status afflicting job class. Okay, so we didn't get what I wanted out of that one. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just default for now. Although eventually I will want to start attacking... Uh, yeah, the PTCA there. Let's see. With Tiz, how about we just... Why don't we wait around first? We'll... Yeah, default for a little bit there. So, unfortunately, because I have to wait around to learn... Uh, a new cat mastery ability this fight is going to take longer than one round even though i probably could win it in one round if i really wanted okay so now what i want to do let's go double heat and normally i'd use rain but i'm going to use arrow on angelo alone there and then with tiz let's examine the medic fan and also get cursed arrow to debuff them huh. you're the ones who took out amy Yep. Wait, you're the darling she was going on about? Uh. Oh, don't remind me. Yes, she was fond of that word. Hmm. But I assure you, I was not her darling. Ah. I show her a little bit of kindness, and the woman is hopelessly enamored with me. Mm. <sighs> not the first time that's happened, of course. But over and over, sweetie this, darling that. I can't stand the clingy types. Um, You're a real jerk, you know that? Can't oh, you yeah. see that she loved you? Huh, that's rich, coming from the kid who beat her in battle. You think I wanted to come all the way out here to play babysitter? Yep. Yet here I am, all because she couldn't take care of business. Uh -huh. That woman continues to give me nothing but grief. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we got that going there. Well, I need to examine Angelo, too. For some reason, I thought I already had, but whatever. We're not going to kill him this round anyway. But we'll get there, eventually. I just want to make sure I don't kill the medic. So make sure you stick to single-targeting special moves that deal damage. Yeah, look at that damage. Very nice. Damn, she's not using it. But, uh, yeah. Excellent damage with the arrow uh, spellcraft there. Okay, so now... Let's see. Why don't we wait around... Oh, uh, with you. Why don't we switch it back over to a magical rod there? But otherwise, yeah. I'm just gonna have them default for now. And then, yeah. Why don't you... Yeah, examine Angelo. You cared about that girl, didn't you? Nope. Why else would you come looking for revenge? He is it. Revenge? Is that what you think this is about? That girl was nothing more than a tool to me. Like my spatula. If my spatula broke, you bet I'd be annoyed. Hmm. I actually feel sorry for you. You had someone who really cared about you. And you're comparing her to a spatula. Yeah. You're really starting to get on my nerves. What do you know about me? You're a bad guy? What between Amy and I is our business. So shut up and die already! Now you might notice, uh, Adia's magic attack is boosted by more than the normal maximum of 150%. And that's because, well not anymore, but that's because the buff from Blazing Wolf stacks with buffs from special moves. So that's pretty nice. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, we still haven't gotten the job done there. But let's see, I think we can do that here. Let's go double heat, 
You're still weak to fire, right? Okay, at least that stuck around. Okay, so double heat, and yeah, we'll have to use arrows so we don't kill the medic there. And then maybe one trample might be able to finish him off there. Otherwise, oh yeah, I actually, hold on. No, I don't need you to do that. Or at least not necessarily. I want you to mug, or tits to mug Angelo there. Can you dig in the ground and find an item? Well, I suppose he could, but... Oh, right, there we go. We learned Vigor Tonic. So, basically, that just gives a BP over to another character. So, that's pretty nice. And that'll be very useful. Maybe not right away, but soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Okay, now... Yeah, I've... actually, let me see if I can finish the battle with Wanton Destruction. I like the animation and the sound effect for it. It sounds like it really hurts. And that's because it does. And yeah, why don't we go with Mug on the Medic Vanguard? Not that I really care, but let's see. Yeah, X Potions. Why not? Now, by the way, with the Ghost status, if the other party members die, that's game over. Ghost status counts as a game over condition. Just like being petrified. But we get a lot of VP. And even though Magnolia is a ghost, she still gets rewards from the battle there. Alright. Woo, lots of cooking items. So basically, uh, the well, you'll see in a moment there. Oh, wow. Almost every kind of uh, cooking item there. But yeah, the Patissier job class is kind of similar to Catmancer in that their job command uses, uh, well, items in order to provide effects. Usually debuffing effects. So it's basically the replacement for, uh, what was it, the Arcanist job class in the first game? Or whatever it was called there. But yeah, this is our replacement for it, and it is a lot better. I'm not going to make a lot of use of it, but I will eventually want to learn some things from the job class. It's also got pretty good stats. All my work, my genius ruined. Ha ha. My pride, my passion, that I suffer the same fate as that woman is just icing on the bitter cake of defeat. That's the general idea, yes. What are you waiting for? Finish me and end this cruel farce. As you wish. But you don't want to dirty your spotless hands to think I lost to the likes of you. Ha uh ha. -huh. Then you leave me no choice but to do the deed myself. Heaven, here I come. What? No, put down the cake. Hmm? What was that? Dude. This, this ring. Where'd that come from? It's that cheap trinket I gave Amy. There's a note tied to it. To my sweet darling. If you're reading this, I guess it means I'm pushing up daisies. I'm sorry for letting you down. I was never good enough for you. But I loved you. More than anyone in the whole wide world. Growing up in the woods, all I ever ate was roots and bark and wild animals and stuff. I didn't even know what cake was until we met. But that first bite I took, holy cow. I couldn't believe anything so sweet could exist in this world. So I decided I'd be sticking with you, whether you liked it or not. Yeah, probably not. If I hadn't have met you... I probably never would have seen the outside of those woods. You made my world a bigger place, darling. Thank you. Your sweet sugar cake, Amy. Aww. P.S. You want to know what made me happiest? When I slept in on Sundays and you made me your special pancakes. I'd give anything just to taste them again. So listen, if you ever loved me, even just for a second, do me one last favor. Stop fighting. Open the pancake shop instead. Then everyone in the world can be as happy as I was. Well, you are in heaven, or 
Well, no, probably not. Sweet darling, a thousand times I asked her. What's with the music? Even now, in my lowest moment of failure, she won't knock it off. Ha ha. Aggravating to the end, that woman. That's the general idea, yes. Oh, where are you going? To die for? I mean, uh... uh. Next time we meet, you'll get your just desserts. Ah, uh, okay. I'll serve you the best pancakes you've ever had. I don't want any pancakes. Phew, he was one tough cookie. Not really. I only had the boss fight only lasted so long was because I had to learn the the cat mastery ability. Wait, aren't we forgetting something? What do you mean? It's Magnolia. We never asked him to bring her back. Wow. Oh. oh no! Now what do we do? Where did she go? We have no idea where he was headed either. We can't just leave her like this. Well, I mean, it's not like. He has anywhere he could go. Magnolia's scared. I can't see her, but I can tell. Me too. We have to do something. Maybe we could say her name three times. Well done, my noble friends. You washed the dirty scoundrel right out of our hair. Yeah. It was a schwitz watching from my comfortable hiding spot, but I never saw a truer display of heroism. What the schwitz? If not for your quick action, our peaceful nation would truly be in hot water. Oh, I, I guess. I mean, you didn't eat the cake, though. As a token of my eternal gratitude, I would bestow upon you a lifetime Yunohana bathport. What's that? Is that like a boat? I guess not. B a bath port? Yes, like a passport, but with a B and a lisp. With um. it, <laughs> you are free to make use of our baths whenever you wish. Hey, hey all right. It takes longer than actually resting up at an inn, which are already negligible, cost a negligible amount of money. That's very generous of you, your lordship, but we don't have much time for hanging out in hot springs. Yeah, we kind of have a ghost problem. Hmm. W wait a minute. What's up? Of course! The hot springs! What about them? The baths here are supposed to cure all ills. Oh. Maybe it would work on Magnolia, too. Eh, yeah, why not? A remedy won't do the job. Really? Sounds like a long shot. Well, what other choice do we have? It's worth a try. I'll go get a bucket of water. What do you mean, a bucket? Here it is. Oh, that's hot. Magnolia must be somewhere around here. Oh. Try splashing it around. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Grace is short! Hey! Look, she's back! Uh-oh. Wow, it really worked! It's a little scary how well it works, but all's well that ends well. Without a doubt, oh la vache, I thought I was going to be stuck like that forever. What? There's nothing a good bath can't solve. Indeed, cleanliness is next to godliness. What does that even mean? Now that that mess is all cleaned up, I insist you stay the night and enjoy our hospitality. Well, we might as well. It's free now. <sighs> you know, a bath would be good right now. What do you say, everyone? Sure, why not? But all right, so now that we've, well, at least defeated Angelo there, we've got another, uh, yeah, another tutorial quest to do there. So now, just like with Catmancy, let's see, we go over here. And, or wait, no, not that. Well, yeah, I mean, just like Cat Mancy or Cat Mastery, we've got the recipes for uh, the confectionery command there. And, yeah, some of them inflict status ailments. Some of them inflict elemental weaknesses. And some of them, uh, yeah, debuff the target there, though I never really use those. 
But yeah, let me take a look at the the job class there. Eventually, I'll have Magnolia use it, ironically. And let's see. Okay, so we've got... Let's see. The ability that I would really be after is items for all. So, like, you could use an item like an ether, or if you wanted to use, like, a magnifying glass to examine all enemies at once, you could do that. Let's see. Glace is kind of nice, so I don't think I really use that ever. Status ailment amp would be really useful if you're uh, using their job command. Let's see, items for all not only applies to your consumable items, but also with the, uh, well, I guess they call it Bon Appetit, but the uh, confectionery command there, it'll make them hit all enemies. So you can debuff all of them at once. Let's see, another item or another ability that could be useful is Flambe. And because it deals damage proportional to their BP, that's that would really help out a lot if you want to level grind at the BP spring at Geyser Grotto there. So that's why I would have suggested to wait for that if you wanted to do that. I don't, but it would make it faster there. And it doesn't cost... Uh, what? Yeah, it doesn't cost any MP or anything like that. So you could... Fight a lot of consecutive battles there without a problem. But all right. Okay, so we got that. And yeah, why don't we yeah, get over to the, the bathhouse there. Oh, well, I don't think the guy was planning to kill him or anything. Oh, yeah, you might want to watch that. But uh, okay, yeah, I guess we got to head over there. Oh. Oh, right, we did the tutorial quest there. I mean, I knew that. But, uh, okay, so we got that one out of the way. Not a whole lot of tutorials left that I can actually do, but we'll get there. You guys have anything new to say? Oh, no, I think we already talked to you about Satanta again. But, uh, okay, yeah, I guess we'll just uh, head on over there then to advance the plot. Anything new here? No, I guess not. Okay, never mind then. Well, only... Well, I guess Magnolia doesn't need to use it anymore. But yeah, you could just manually go in here now. For free. Ooh, ah, that's the ticket. What is? Ah, tell me about it. Take a look at this, sir. I've been working out. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, that's what we do in the game, isn't it? 20 push-ups and 20 sit-ups every night. What do you think? Am I looking more manly? Uh, you've always looked manly, I think. <laughs> you sure are. My routine is 50 each, morning and night, you know. Even when I was sleeping for two years. <gasps> wow, sir. Excuse me, gentlemen. Hey, how's it going? I heard all about your bravery from Lord Arima's valet. He tells me you saved our town. Oh, something like that. I, I think he's kind of exaggerating there, but I'll take it. Oh, no. We just did what we had to do. Yeah, to not die again. That's not what I heard. I think you're being far too modest. <laughs> well, it was a tough fight. Yeah, I mean, it took more than one round. In any case, your dinner is ready. Please, enjoy it while it's still hot. But we're in the bath right now. Oh, thank you. We'll just dry off and be room. Uh, hmm? Coming! Yeah. <gasps> Idia! Idia, you're closed! Now that was delicious. It wasn't to die for, right? No kidding. What a feast. Mm, I'm completely stuffed. I'm so glad you liked it. It's always nice for a cook to know her efforts weren't in vain. Um, something like that, sure. Wait, you made all this? Oh yes, as the sole employee of this bathhouse, I'm responsible for everything. Oh, 
You might want to hire some help. Cleaning the baths, managing the front desk, preparing the meals, whatever needs to be done. Get out. That's amazing. So what happens if you need a day off? You're like the Omega weapon of innkeepers. Oh, <laughs> well, that that's one way of looking at her. Why, thank you. I think it's nothing really. Will you be retiring for the night soon? Oh, it's night already? Yeah, I'm pretty sleepy. Lord Arima sent over a tremendous amount of yuzu, so I prepared yuzu baths for this evening. What's a yuzu? Perhaps you'd like to enter once more before turning in. No, I don't think so. Yuzu baths? What's that? Yuzu. It's a citrus fruit. You ah. bathe with whole fruits floating in the water. That seems like a waste, but okay. It will warm you to the bones, and it's wonderful for your skin. Oh, okay. That sounds Say lovely. So. Well, I'd hate to miss the chance, so I think I'll try it out. Okay. I would too, but I'm really beat. I think I'll... Uh, 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 hit the hay. What does hay have anything to do with it? Me too. Oh, I might have overdone it. I gotta lie down and digest. Again? Alright, see you later then. Ah, ah. Ooh, this is the life. Yeah, with your best friend stabbing you in the back. Good times! <sighs> the scent of Yuzu is so refreshing. I could do this every night. Well, we can teleport anytime we want. <sighs> hey, Magnolia? Are you there? Hmm? Did she become a ghost again? Yes. What is it? Oh, okay. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. You know, about the flower? Yeah, I should have just let you stay there unconscious. The moon, its customs, I really have no idea. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. It was my fault for leaping to conclusions. I mean, of course you wouldn't propose to me on our very first meeting. Although, I really was happy. Aww. I even considered saying yes, right then and there. W really? But why? You didn't say yes? <laughs> it's a secret, but it wasn't quite love at first sight, if that's what you're thinking. A secret? But you'll tell me someday, right? What kind of secret? Don't answer that, viewers. <laughs> Peut-être. I'll think about it. Too bad we can't stay like this. What do you mean? Whoop! No, I don't want to skip that. Yeah. The skyhold is still out there. That's our main worry. This is the good part. And we still need to find an ocean-worthy ship. Oh, yeah. I wish we could do something for the people of Heartschild, too. If only there were an item that could do that for us. We could bring the spring water to them, but it seems it's not as effective once it cools off. Well, couldn't we teleport there? And as long as they're in that gone to heaven ghost state, they are coming here. Well, we could bring them here at night? We can't take the hot springs to them, and we can't bring them to the hot springs. Hmm. There must be a way. You seem troubled, my young friends. Who's there? <gasps> yeah, I've heard that voice before. Uh, I know that voice. You're the man with the purple pen. Oh, is that what we're calling him now? <laughs> That's a curious name you've given me. Well, no one else was using that color. Though I suppose it's better than stalker or ghost. <laughs> no, of course not. Now you're just talking crazy. I've got another name for you if you want. Peeping Tom. <laughs> I, I assure you, I'd never dream of doing such a thing. My intentions are nothing if not noble. My only desire is to help. What do you mean? Opportunities are like bean sprouts. Use them while you can, 
or they'll be spoiled before you know it. Oh. Okay. How is that relevant? What? Well, that sounds great. But what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> your ship is right before your eyes. Now you need only use it. What do you mean? What? I don't see any ship. Lord Arima's intractable clog. Oh, what was that? I've taken the liberty of tracting it. Anchors away. What do you mean? Where is it? Whoa! What the? What's going on here? Whoa! What was that? You? Magnolia? What the heck's going on? It wasn't us. Honest. What is this, like an island or something? What's with all the racket? I was having such a good sleep. Well, something's going on here. We were in the bath when the man with the purple pen showed up. The man with the purple pen? Yeah, what happened? Yes, I heard him too. You mean he's here? In the bathhouse? Uh, he was? His voice was coming from upstairs. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. What's up there, though? Uh, oh, okay, I guess she left. Or something. Can we get off here? Nope. Maybe Sakura went over here. No. Okay, I guess she's just hiding, then. But anyway, if you go all the way up here, well, there's no one here. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, it looks like a... What is it? Like a steering wheel or something? Huh? What's a ship's wheel doing here? Don't tell me. This is where it sounded like the man with the purple pen was. So, how do we work it? Well, he's not here now. Where's he always off to so suddenly? Hmm. Her bathing! She moves! Oh, how many years it has been! Oh, you're here too? How did it happen? Why, look at this room. I thought it was only for storing the linens. Hmm. Uh, your lordship, Sakura. To think there was a soul who could write her plumbing. Truly, my tub run is over. Yeah, something like that. Your lordship. How's it going? I beg of you, please lend us this vessel. We want to take its healing waters to Heart's Child. But if we're not, like, part part of the continent or docked there, isn't that where all the heat comes from? If the water's still hot, we'll be able to cure the townspeople. But we can't get right next to the town. Not content to save our nation alone, you intend to scrub Heart's Child free of its troubles as well? Something like that. It would ill behoove me to throw a wet towel on your ambition. This vessel was the very rubber duck of you, Nohana. But from this day forth, she belongs to you. Hey, all right. After you have saved Heart's Child, journey with her wherever you need to pull the plug on the Kaiser. Something like that. Thank you very bad. We shall not let you down. But uh, all right, so all right. we get our time to bring the hot springs to Heart's Child. Shit. A bathtub. Far cry from our old boat. Does anyone know how to pilot it? Well, it wouldn't be uh, the most unusual vehicle I've ever had. Less. Oh, someone's been studying. What do you mean? <laughs> huh? Really? What? Oh, well, I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, I can do this. Way to go, idiot. Are we going? Helm, set a course for Heart's Child. Captain, bringing her about full steam ahead. I didn't think it was a uh, steam pack. Well, 
I suppose technically it would be steam powered. But uh, all right, we got the rubber dub, a bathtub ship thing. So now we can go in deep waters, but we could also switch back to the rowboat if we wanted. I think there's only like one time where that function, well, two times technically, if you count a tutorial quest. But I'm not going to do that just yet. For now, let's get back to where we were. I'm too scared. No, nah, no, nah, but uh, we can dock. Back at Unohana, if we wanted. Uh, I want to teleport over to Heart's Child. It would be faster than sailing all the way around. Not to mention, I would need to change my equipment setup if I wanted to do that. But for now, I think I'm just going to leave my, my job classes alone. Well, actually, with Tiz. Yeah, hold on. Oh, no. Uh, game? Let's, uh, yeah, get into the favorites there. Let's see, why don't we save the boss setup there. And then, let's see, with Tiz, I want him to go back to working on the charioteer. With Miscellany, what else do we got? Well, actually, hold on a sec, I... Yeah, I'll just leave this for now. But uh, I do want to make more substantial changes. I also want to recharge my special moves. So let's head back to Gathaladio. Because, yeah, we're going to have another boss fight coming up without much time to prepare for it. But yeah, it doesn't really matter what you fight while you're doing that. Just make sure you've got everyone on the default trigger condition, and you'll be good to go. And then, well, you gotta tap go in order to, yeah, build it up there. But, yeah, it's really quick. Takes less than a minute to get the job done. I don't use this very often, like, throughout the whole game. Because, eventually, special moves will become obsolete. Hmm, I thought I would be pretty close by now. Ah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, special moves fully charged up again. Let's get out of here. And this time, I want to go back to Yudohana. Or, I mean, Heart's Child. It would also be nice to rest up at an inn here. But, uh, okay, so... Well, just in case, I'll make my setup changes now. Okay, so with... Let's see, with you, I think... Yeah, I'm just going to leave him alone there. I think that's the way to go, at least for random battles. Let's see, with Adia, I'll leave her on Warfare for now. But let's see. Okay, you definitely want to have Quad Wield. And then what else do we got? Whisker Sense, and let's see. Well, we don't need learning anymore. Let's see. I would like to have Katana Lore because, well, in the ocean, most of the enemies there are going to be aquatic. Oh, well, deal with the equipment later. Let's see. With Magnolia, leave her as a black mage. Let's see. I'm going to leave her on Spirit Magic for now, but usually I like to have Miscellany in the ocean because we're going to be encountering a lot of new enemies there. And, yeah, actually, I'll just leave her alone entirely there, pretty much. Okay, so with Tiz, let's see. Let's go Physical Triple. I would like to get Katana Lore going there. And what else? Uh, barrage, I think, or I'm just thinking with, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll give you a precog mission for now. I was thinking about maybe giving him barrage, but maybe I'll adjust my setup later for that. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. Then with you, let's see. Well, now I don't need the rod of fire on Magnolia. 
Uh, the reason I gave that to her is because, well, she can only use magic, not even special moves. So I figured, why not give the damage boost to her instead of you? But now we're good to go. So yeah, we'll give you the Rod of Fire. See, all magic boosting equipment. Then with Magnolia, let's see, some enemies in the ocean are going to be weak to water. So we get the Samadare to help out with that. And Kotetsu's. Let's see, I would like to give her the Black Belt as well. So now she's got a maximum crit rate of, let's see, 79%. And then, okay, so with Magnolia, I think I'll just leave her alone for now. Yeah, I'm going to change her setup when we actually get to the ocean. But I might run into a battle on the overworld while we're walking from Heart's Child to the nearest port or the beach, whatever we got going on. Okay, and then, yeah, we don't have quad wield, so we'll just have to stick with what we got. And we might as well use the inn while we're here at the cheapest one. And then teleport back to Heart's Child. Uh, let's see. Yeah, right over there. And just go to a beach. This is a lot faster than, you know, taking the boat all the way around to get here. Get over to the shallows. And we're good to go. My, so this is the coast of Heart's Child. If you took the rub dub all the way around the continent to get here, you would have to sail to about this position in order to advance the plot. That's right. Hey, wait a minute. You're still on board. Oh, yeah, we don't need you here anymore. Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Because you work here? It's just that uh, we kind of get into a lot of dangerous situations. Yeah, I mean, the Skyhold could blow us out of the sky. Then all the more reason. I'll stay right here. Uh... Okay. On a perilous journey such as yours, you're bound to have aches and pains from time to time. But we got the pot tub for that. When that happens, I'll be here to see you're as comfortable as possible. <gasps> Does that mean you'll be cooking for us too? Well, someone's got to do it. But of course, hot meals thrice daily. Now that's what I'm talking about. Um, good for us, I guess. But, uh, okay, so we got that. Now we can actually go back to Heart's Child. All right, so before going in there, I would like to readjust my setup there. So, yeah, why don't we save my random battle setup there. Get back over to the boss setup. But I do want to make some more substantial changes to my setup this time. So let's see. Okay, so we've got Spirit Magic. Yeah, everything is good to go there. With Adia, I actually want to give her Miscellany because we're going to have a lot of targets to examine there. And she'll just use her special move for the remaining action. But uh, okay, so JP, physical attack up. Let's see. Well, we don't need learning anymore, but I do want to give her speed up so she can examine the enemies before we kill them and then let's see with magnolia i think i pretty much leave her the same yeah leave you alone yeah spellcraft good measure has gotten so much longevity here even better than pierce magic defense on you for now but it it will be more useful in the long run okay so for tiz Let's see. I still have items that I want to steal. And then... Okay, so physical, triple, katana, and barrage. And then for the equipment, I think I've basically got my magic users ready to go. With Adia, even though Fencer is really strong with one-handed swords and uh, knives there, I actually want to give her the mandarin fists 
Unfortunately, we don't have knuckle lore yet, so we'll just have to deal with what we got. But trust me, these are better than swords for what we got coming up here. And then we might as well give her the sugar loaf. She seems to like it. And what else do we got? Oh, well, then I wouldn't really need quad wield on her, would I? I mean, really, all I need are the Mandarin Fist. Uh, weapons equipped to the head and torso slot will be... Uh... Yeah, they wouldn't deal very much damage. So, hmm, I'll have to think about her abilities. Maybe give her Barrage and, well, something else. I'll, I'll think about it. But I do want her on the Power Bracers, for sure. Oh, I got you back on the Rod of Fire there. Whoops. Because of the setup changes. Er, no. Rod of Fire. There you go. Okay. And then what else do we got? Okay, yeah, you're good there. And Tiz, I think he's good there. For stealing. Oh, yeah. What does uh, Anya's have to say about this? Unfortunately, I don't think I can advance the dialogue more quickly than that. But, yeah, what else we got? Something like that. Oh. Well, maybe. I mean, haven't you already left for Florm and all that? Well, I guess not. But can the healing waters of Yunohana truly save the people of Heart's Child? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.